All right, so first things first, we're gonna of course need a nice soul. So uh, open up a web browser, I use Firefox, and uh, go to this website. I will link this in the description. Select your edition, confirm. Uh, English on my case. 64 if you do if you don't know if your computer is 64 32 bit you can run a neo fetch and uh, copy the cpu name and google if it's 32 or 64 bit on my case it is 64 save file click ok then you're also gonna gonna want to download this which is called a ventoy it is essentially another way to flash a Windows ISO to your USB, but it's not really that. It's complicated. Go watch, go look at a Ventoy tutorial if you want uh, an accurate description of it. Uh, I'm using Ventoy 1.071 as of 15, 15th of April 2022. Download the tar.gz. Save file, click OK. Uh, pick a location, and wait, and when that's finished, open up a terminal window, you can just uh, use an app launcher and search up terminal, and you should find one, and then go to your downloads folder by typing cd downloads, and then type ls, get the, get the name for ventitar.gz then r.runtar.x up and then copy the name and oh yeah to copy and paste on a terminal you need to do sh control shift c and shift v uh, if you do control c it's going to cancel out the current command you're doing uh, anyway run this give it a moment uh, and it's done then go to the fold to the folder you can just type cd ventoy and then press tab it should auto complete for you and then run ventoy web sh you need to give it pseudo privileges enter your password uh, copy this link and paste it in your web browser then you get a nice interface, you can pick your device, uh, <coughs> if you don't find your uh, USB or a drive, you can just click show all devices, uh, make sure to not pick the wrong drive of course, and make, su make sure to keep secure boot on if your computer does have it on, and uh, that should be it, uh, on my case I already have Mento installed on this USB, so I not going to click install but on your case you would only have an install button from what i remember and then you get uh, a that you get a ventoy ventoy uh a partition i guess and you can dump your iso inside that partition boot into that and yeah it should work it should it it, it might give you an option to like boot from multiple isos if you put in multiple ISOs, but just use the up and down arrow keys to pick Windows AME and press enter. And after that, you know how to install Windows, you have installed Linux. 